Hey, I'm Andrew Hall. In 2014, I put out a book called VHS A My Brain, all about collecting VHS tapes and appreciating its dead format and the weird stuff that it brought to pop culture. And what's happened in the last 10 years in terms of the scene, collecting VHS and people's awareness and perception of it. And I love sequels. So guess what? It's tape time again. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Planet Hex. I'm Andrew Horton. This is a show where I talk about a lot of VHS tapes, a lot of retro movies, cartoons, games, music, the writing life, and a bunch of other stuff besides. So, it's been a couple of weeks since I had a video out. Sorry about that. Life has got in the way. It's been crazy busy just with family life, working full time, and finishing up VHS 8 My Brain 2 The Revenge, which you've just seen the trailer for again. I love that trailer. Um, that is, it's, it's done. The book is done. Uh, I just need to get all the bells and whistles finished up. Um, there's a lot that goes into putting a book out. I've done this, this is like my 16th time or so, and um, there's a lot that goes into it. So there's a lot of stuff that, aside from writing the book, that has to go into it before it can uh, be released, but it is very nearly there. And uh, I do apologize for the wait. As I said before, in previous videos, it was delayed due to me being ill at the start of the year. I was out of commission for about six weeks and it just really put me back, um, it really, uh, Put things backwards a little bit so back on track though it's very nearly there and i'm hoping i can just bring it out as a surprise soon so do keep a look out for that vhs at my brain to the revenge is coming very soon um what else have i been doing i've been checking out this book um gods of grindhouse um interviews with exploitation filmmakers there's people like lloyd kaufman in there and ross meyer and all kinds of other people that uh have misbehaved with movies that shall we say uh, but it's been a lot of fun i've also played another show with jan doyle band the band that i sometimes get up with to play guitar with and that was in my hometown of sheffield which i haven't done since 2006 i've only played in nottingham since uh, since joining up with uh, jdb and playing with them on occasion so uh, i played a show in sheffield at channing hall and it was great and it was noisy So that's what I've been up to largely. Work, life, noisy guitars. Um, it's time to go and look at some VHS tapes over on eBay and Facebook because we haven't done it for a couple of weeks. I am really sorry there hasn't been no videos and no updates or anything, um, but uh, there's been a lot going on. Oh, before we go and look on, you know, on eBay and Facebook actually, there was this news story that was posted, that was published by The Guardian, who often publish stuff. There seems to be a couple of these a year where they talk to um, VHS or um, retro media or physical media fans or enthusiasts and um, yeah this is about 20th century flex in Bristol 
We're the last bastion of rental. The video store's resisting the rise of streaming. And I think we are going to see more things like this. I think we're going to see, you know, clubs popping up, things like Not Bad Movie Club or the Loft Theatre Movie Club that's, that's here in Nottingham. Um, there's groups getting together to enjoy physical media and things like that. And this, this is just exciting to me. It's exciting to see these things being reported on. Um, so... Um, as Dave Taylor at 20th Century Flicks in Bristol, I need to go down there. I need to pay him a visit and uh, check out that and just, you know, appreciate these things while they are there. Um, because these things are open. These things are open. Things like 20th Century Flicks and the 80s Video Shop and Alfreton and all, there's a few places around the country. And they have to be open. Uh, kept open somehow so there is clearly a need there is an interest there is there is a desire to um, go and browse and look around things and find things for yourself without being spoon-fed by an algorithm and that's um i know the i know the irony of saying that on youtube i, I do get the irony of saying that on youtube but um if you're watching my videos then i think you are of like mind and do still have an appreciation and a love and affection for physical media and that's definitely what i've got but this is this is a really good read they could go and check this out on the guardian site the last bastion of rental the video stores resisting the rise of streaming there has been more and more talk lately about the effect of streaming and the um, prohibitive cost of it it can really mount up if you've got all those services netflix and prime and, and now tv and paramount and mgm and all the others there's it really really mounts up apple tv that's another one um and it can be damaging to people's uh finances and i think in the long run damaging to their mental health as well because they there's there's fomo there's fear of missing out but then there's absolutely being ruined by the amount of choice you've got uh, and then there's the, the fact that things don't last forever on these platforms as well, so sometimes they get taken down. Um, I do think there is still a very strong argument argument for physical media. And look at that. That is just beautiful. <sighs> That's Snips Movies in Bebbington in Wirral. I need to go there as well. That is a glorious, beautiful thing. It may look like a headache to some people. I think that is gorgeous. I'm just spending hours in there talking to the staff, enjoying these things and really relishing being around them and not just flicking through things endlessly and never actually finding anything you want to watch. But anyway, yes, do go and check out that piece. It's a really good read. I do recommend that for any like-minded individuals like myself and hopefully I would say like your good self as well. So <laughs> let's go and have a look at these tapes over on eBay and Facebook. On uh, eBay, I've put in X-Rental Horror VHS and I've uh, selected Ending Soonest. Because again, I'm curious to see what things are actually being bid on. Of course, it won't show me the, it won't show me the Buy It Now ones, but this is uh, some auctions that are ending soonest. Um, yeah, it won't show me the Buy It Now ones that have been, you know, been purchased, of course. So let's see what we've got here. I think we're gonna see a lot of recurring things, uh, a lot of recurring tips we've seen in previous videos because they're just not, selling in the quantities that you know it would be nice for them to sell at at the moment um i don't think people are buying people are don't have as much disposable income at the moment um let's see if anything pops up i keep seeing that copy of freaky fairy tales there's the seller television love that see what okay what that is a very sensible price that is a very sensible price for a copy of hardware. Uh, I know who's selling that. Um, that is a great copy of hardware. That's a really nice looking copy of hardware. However, it has uh, copies of hardware have been going for like 50, 60 pounds recently, which has been crazy. So um, that's a good price. That's a good a fiver for a tape is a good price. So what else have we got here? The neighbor, the carrier. The Osiris Chronicles, I've mentioned that before in a previous video, that's still not sold. You're overpricing these things, guys. Fiverr is a sweet spot, but um, ticks, always used to see that in a rental store. See it from time to time on here, that is not a bad price for it if that's something that you want. There's the X-Files movie, the first one. My Little Eye, very underrated movie. I think that's uh, 
especially in the in the the age of so much social media uh, all encompassing social media i think my little eye is a really interesting one I'm not sure how well it holds up i think it's from like 2001 or so not sure how it, how well that holds up but it'd be worth a look worth a look worth a revisit that one i would say power entertainment and video copy of the power i've not seen that one before let's go and see what uh, what's going on there alligator to the mutation that's the same seller as well we're going to have a look at their other listings demons mutant 2 that's a nice looking vtc tape but not one i would want to buy though class newcomb high 20 quid i'm gonna have a look at these these sellers this seller as well he's got class newcomb high and the stuff uh, and neon maniacs and the wraith there's some good stuff there that's ah uh, neon maniacs I miss that tape. I really, I really miss that tape. I've mentioned it before, like like video, uh, the video dead and the original Return of the Living Dead and things like that. I was sad that I sold them. I really regret selling those. So if you are going to sell your collection, make sure you're not going to want them back. Because by crikey, do I want them back? And I just, I can't justify the uh, the cost at the moment. Um, but we'll have a look at that seller as well. Fifty pounds for big box of Elm Street 4 and Elm Street 5 no no thank you so and then same seller as 50 pounds on Elm Street 2 and 60 on Elm Street 1 so they got Dream Warriors and the Dream Warriors oh so, uh, excuse me subspecies for the awakening seven pounds I'm gonna go and have a look at that that looks interesting I love a full moon movie as is well documented on here and in my uh, my book VHS in my brain revised edition out now please do go and check that out Supergirl same seller again that's a great one I, I like the Supergirl movie I liked it um, that's Evil Speak that's the original version of Evil Speak Preset and not the uh, not the one that was cut to ribbons see there's some really good tapes around at the moment really good tapes on here at the moment on eBay but I don't know what the market is. I don't think the market has enough people with enough money in it at the moment. Um, that's the Friday's Cursed tapes there. That's the, the Friday the 13th TV series unrelated to Jason Voorhees. Um, what's that one? Night of the Living Dead, small box. No. Head of the Family. That's a great tape. That's a great tape. I've got that. Um, Hollywood High. Jesus no oh wishmaster 3 uh devilstone and uh, wishmaster 4 the prophecy fulfilled two of the worst films that i've ever seen ever and i've i've seen some junk i sat through mortal Kombat annihilation those third and fourth wishmaster movies are offensively bad they are truly truly awful right Let's go and see what we've got in these uh, these listings here. So the Power Entertainment Video First Edition listing that is a nice looking tape. Um, yep, yeah, that's good looking. Let's see what's on the back. Okay, we've got a nice cover art there. Some gory moments, some of the frightening moments. That's good. Let's see what the tape is in. That's a good looking tape. It's got a it's got an eighteen sticker on it, uh, rather than it being. Um, actually printed on the tape but that looks like a post cert tape so i think that's printed on the cover there so pre cert and post cert hmm interesting so let's see what the the seller is also offering meaning good life splits willow great movie adventures in babysitting arena there's some good stuff in here a little bit pricey but some of these tapes you don't see very often. Uh, some of these action movies. Some of the earnest movies. Let's crash and burn. See, this this is a good idea. This is a good idea. Putting something out like crash and burn there. £15 to bid on. Or if you want to buy it now, 25 If you want to pay a bit more and buy it now and ensure it's yours, then that is the option. That is a good way to go. That is a good way to go. And of course, if someone puts in a lower bid, then that will the buy it now will go away. But that's a really good idea, and I think that's that's a way to go for a lot of collectors. That's a, a really positive idea, because then you may still get the higher price, but 
you know you're going to get the bare minimum and i think that's going to make it a lot more attractive to a lot of collectors that's a really good idea ah fighting a shallot shyland monks i you know i always wish i watched more kung fu movies i found entire apps on the on the fire stick on the fire tv we use um that are just dedicated to them and it's just glorious some of them are completely insane uh, i was watching the uh, the robot ninja not the robot ninja sorry robo ninja um i'm <laughs> watching those recently and they're just barking mad in the best possible way so there's plenty going on on that that seller there let's see what else we've got going on so the seller that's selling the stuff these are things i used to see really see in in uh, rental stores that's got a nice bit of sun fade i quite actually i actually quite like a bit of sun fading i think it adds character and it adds the um it gives you an example of the time that it was on the shelf in a video store and that again connects you to a video store and connects you to that era weird little ways like that weird little things like that i find uh, um very attractive so let's go and see what else they've got on there so we've got the stuff superman 2 i can see why that's 50 quid i mean it's superman 2 neon maniacs 24.99 I wonder if these were my copies. I don't know. Um, Spectres. I had Spectres. It's an all right watch. Not great, but it's all right. Um, classic you can buy. It's a classic. Bad taste. Oh, yes. There's that evil speak. I want to have a closer look at the evil speak there. And this Neon Maniac. So that is... Uh, one of the coolest covers ever. Really deeply stupid film. Uh, but it's fun. And I love it dearly. That's a good looking tape. Case looks in good condition. Yep. I think that's the right case as well. See, that's not a bad price. I've seen I've seen that going for far higher recently. I've seen it going for like 40 in... Uh, um, on many listings lately i like the condition good watch many times i'm sure when rented out so don't expect dvd quality no don't ever expect dvd quality of these things these are more for collectors um who are really going to appreciate them despite their failings um i can say the same about my wife really appreciate me despite my many many shortcomings and fa failures oh well evil speak Data incomplete, human blood required. Thus spake the computer. Fantastic. So cool. Clint Howard as, as a video space edition. That's cool. Um, crikey. Yeah, Clint Howard is a guy that resurrects evil satanic witches through a computer. Absolutely brilliant. Um... Let's have a look at the state of this subspecies. There's some marks on the cover, but I think that's just cosmetic on the outside of the case. There's old Radu. The most savage vampire masters of all time have returned from their unholy rest in the final battle for the Bloodstone. Yeah, I recently got the um, signed up back up to the uh, the Full Moon app, so I signed up to the I joined the Full Moon uh, features Patreon, and it gets you access to the uh, that's a time code it gets you access to the um, the streaming app as well which i've not been on for a little while so I'm trying to cut back on the on the cost um but it's so fun re-watching the the subspecies movies they hold up so well really good so what's on the inside of the case subspecies the awakening a curse of the puppet master special horror twin pack so they're selling them uh, two for one there probably the only way they could get anyone to have a copy of curse of the puppet master because you know um there's also advertised there at the bottom warlock 3 the end of innocence which is the the warlock movie that didn't have julian sands in it rest in peace but that is a good looking tape that's that's an interesting one especially for only seven pounds because that is a time code copy rather than actual rental copy so let's go and see what's going on on facebook marketplace shall we stuff stuff galore that's a listing i've seen before on here these things just aren't selling ah we've got some presets showing up this is interesting 
some presets, some Kylie, extra. Happy birthday to me. I don't see that around often. Let's see what else we've got down uh, further down here. John Block videotape. That's a brave star on top of that. Let's have a look. Various VHS tapes, VHS tapes. I will not be. <laughs> There's an electric blue video there with 3D glasses. That's not the sort of thing I want to see in, in 3D. Some more tapes there. Free VHS players. Crikey. Right, okay. There's a £30 200 bundle. 200 plus VHS bundle. Let's see if there's anything spectacular in there that would make that worthwhile. Job lot of videos, read ad, please. Oh, that's promising. 46 VHS videos. Doctor Who videos. Video tech. There's so many. Free West Bridgeford. Too far away from me. I can go and have a look at that. Let's see if that's if that looks interesting. VHS tapes 10p each. So as as usual, it's the uh, it's the usual sort of thing. I'm seeing a lot of things repeated. People need to either put their their prices down a bit, or they need to think about how they are advertising these things. So they need to think about the uh, the photo that they make sure is on the front, make sure it's, it's showing you stuff, make sure the titles you put up there, varied selection of VHS tapes that could have said action, comedy, drama, anything like that. Just to get, just to add something that people may be looking for, or maybe um, that that we'll, they will search for and they may get connected to. Um, oh, hello. Uh, what they're what they're looking at. Right, let's go through some of these as well. Hell Knight. This is the original release of me on VHS uncertified. Purchased this just before the video. Whoops. Before the video recordings that came to force in 84. So this has been held on to since 84. And it's a media edition that is in good condition for a tape of that age. Uh, and they're asking 30 pounds for that. That is not a bad price. That is a decent price for something of that age and that caliber. Um, you got happy birthday to me. There's another one that was uh, part of the, the nasties controversy. Um, again, not one you see around very, it's not a common one. 40 pounds is a good price for that. Yes, that's not a bad one at all. Let's have a look at one of these job lot video, job lot of videotapes, 25 pounds, all of them. Please see photos. Okay, so what have we got here? I see with Madness, Brave Star, Popeye, something that's got water damage on it. Hunters of the Plains. Billy Connolly. Yeah, don't think we're going to get any, any gold in there. It's a shame, but it's always worth looking. Oh, look at Star Crash. Time Machine. That Star Crash is interesting. Sorry, no postage. Oh, got to go and pick them up. I was thinking that would be weird if, if I turned up at someone's house dressed all in black, as I generally do when I'm outside, and you say, oh, I'm here about the video. Yeah, quite sinister. Unintentionally so. Yeah, that's all just kind of usual stuff you see. Mass market. Yeah, nothing there for me. But let's have a look at these last two here I've got. So these ones are always interesting. Ideal for someone who likes to upload vintage adverts onto YouTube. There'll be some hidden gems in this collection. I think I've seen these tapes before. Shame they've not sold yet. Um... And they do appear to be free. I'm quite tempted by that. I am quite tempted by that. I do have those saved. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've clearly visited this before. All right, 
last one of the evening let's just check out this copy of bloodbath which they've got listed for 110 pounds and that's a lot of money however this is one you really don't see very often but they've made the mistake of only putting up one picture condition good so there's nothing in the condition there's there's nothing in the details there's no no description and there's one photo if you're asking 110 pounds for a tape you want to show the front the back the tops of the case you want to show the inside of the case and you want to show the tape to make sure that your buyer is aware that it does not have mold on it or cracks in it or you know it, just to make sure it's the right tape that's in there so if you're listing these things always keep the buyer in mind so you know you're not going to rip them off or do anything ridiculous or you know let people be disappointed with their purchase and then cause problems down the line so always make sure you you're taking enough photos of things like that it's just common courtesy really anyway i'm going to go back to finishing vhs in my brain to the revenge all the fiddly bits that you don't really that readers don't really think about and um, i don't really think about them until i remember i have to do them at the end of production so yeah anyway i hope you're all doing well and i hope you're all uh, enjoying your movies and your you know your intake of physical media or your intake of digital media or your intake of music or your intake of beer and fries i want beer and fries now I said that anyway i'll check in again soon thank you for watching this episode of planet hex <laughs>